When your child needs to appeal a university sexual misconduct case in Michigan, you need to familiarize yourself with the school's policies on appeals. Different colleges and universities are going to have different appeal processes. For example, at some schools, the appeal process would take place after a finding of responsibility and or sanctions are imposed after an investigation or a hearing. At other schools, the appeal process would actually start the hearing process. So it's important to understand this aspect of the appeal process. It's also important to understand your college or university's allowable grounds or the allowable basis for an appeal. Schools often have similar allowable grounds, but you have to make certain that you meet your school's allowable grounds. For example, a procedural error or defect, disproportionate sanction, new evidence that was reasonably not available during the course of the process. You have to meet your school's allowable grounds. You also have to meet your school's appeal deadline. You should never go through the disciplinary process on your own. If your son or daughter finds it necessary to appeal a finding of responsibility and or a sanction at a college or university in Michigan, having an experienced attorney advisor is going to be their best ally through the appeal process.